In this video, we're going to look at another example of graphing quadratic functions, an application of looking at the graph of a quadratic function. And our problem says, if an object on Earth is projected upward with initial velocity of 32 feet per second, then the function h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 32t gives the height of the object after t seconds. Find the maximum height attained by the object. So I think a good thing to do here would be to first think about what the graph looks like. And I took, um, I took the liberty of using a graphing utility to graph it out, graph the parabola. And this is what it looks like. You could certainly um, graph this by plotting points and using the techniques that we've talked about in the other videos on graphing quadratic functions. So just to be clear about this graph, the x-axis in this case is represented by the variable t for time. Maybe I should put that over here. That's a little more traditional. And the y-axis is representing the height. So we have an object that's starting on the ground, say a, you know, a rocket or something that's being shot from the ground, or a, it's probably not a rocket at 32 feet per second, but um, something that's being thrown directly from the ground. And it's after one second, it's going to be, looks like about 16 feet high. And you know, after a half a second here, we could estimate how high the object is by simply looking at this point and coming across over here, maybe 12, I don't know. We could certainly find exactly how high the object is after a half a second by simply putting a half into this equation and it should correspond to this point. So this is, this is not the path of the object. This is a graph that shows us how high the object will be after a certain amount of time. And we can actually get the answer or estimate the answer to our question from looking at this graph. The question, find the maximum height attained by the object. Well, the maximum height is going to be right here, whatever this height is. And we can see that this is the vertex. Now, if you didn't have a graph, you don't need a graph to solve this. You need to know that what you're trying to find is the vertex. And I talked about this in the last video that if you're looking at a parabola, uh, a quadratic graph, a quadratic equation, excuse me, that produces a, a parabola in its graph, and you're asked to find a maximum or a minimum, you need to be thinking about the vertex. So in order to find the vertex, we're going to use this formula up here, the opposite of b over 2a. And in this case, for our equation, our b value is 32 and our a value is negative 16 and our c value would be 0 if we needed it but we don't need it to find the vertex alright so the opposite of b over 2a from the graph you can probably guess that it's going to come out to be 1 but as I said you may not have a graph available to you and sometimes you know producing a graph without a graphing utility or a graphing calculator can be uh, can be more work than just plugging in negative b over 2a. So our b value is 32, so we have negative 32 over 2 times a is negative 16. So we get negative 32 over negative 32, which is 1. Now, from the graph, we can see that probably corresponds to a height of 16. Again, you may not have the graph, so in order to find the height, you're just going to plug in 1 second into this function we know that after one second it's going to reach its maximum height. Oops, I forgot to plug in one. Let's erase that and plug in a one. Okay, so 16 times, negative 16 times one squared plus 32 times one is going to give us negative 16 plus 32, which is 16. So from this information, the vertex 116 tells us that after one second, that the object is going to reach its max height of 15 feet, or excuse me, 16 feet. Main thing I want to get across here is recognizing that this is an application of finding the vertex. All right, let's look at another question about this problem. I'm going to erase this, so if you need this information, you can pause the video. 
Another question you might be asked, and this is probably going to go into my graph, but that's okay. Find the number of seconds it takes for the object to hit the ground. Well, we can see from the graph it looks like two seconds, and the fact that at zero seconds the object is on the ground, so at zero seconds it has a height of zero, and we know after one second it has a height of 16, so you can use the property of the symmetry of the parabola. We know that the parabola has an axis of symmetry right here through 1. And therefore, you could reflect this point 0, 0 across the axis of symmetry over here to the point 0, 2. We know the point 0, 2, therefore, is on our graph. And so what this means is the height is going to be 0 after 2 seconds. When it asks you how long it takes for the object to hit the ground, when it's saying hit the ground, that tells you that the height has to be zero, that the height is zero, height equals zero. That's what it's telling you. From the graph, then, we know the answer is going to be two seconds. But as I said earlier, you may not have access to a graph. So how would you figure this out if you didn't have the graph? Well, what you would want to do is take the function h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 32 t and we want to know how many seconds it takes so we need to find t for the height to be 0 so we're going to plug 0 in for h of t all right and we get something that looks like that so now we have a quadratic equation that we need to solve and it's already set equal to 0 so that's good First thing we should do is see if we can factor it, which we can. We can take out a negative 16. You could just take out a positive 16 if you want, but if you take out a negative 16, it's going to be a little nicer. Negative 16 and each term has a factor of t, so we can take out that. And that's going to leave us t minus 2. So this is completely factored. Now we're going to set each factor equal to 0. So negative 16t equals 0. Actually, the negative 16 doesn't affect it, but we'll see that in a minute. And if we divide both sides by negative 16, we get t equals 0. If we add 2 to both sides, we get t equals 2. So this tells us the 2 times at which the height is 0. And we can see from our graph that that's correct. At time 0 and at time 2, the height of the object is going to be 0, in other words, on the ground. So this is just another example of where you might see an application of these quadratic um, equations. This is a very common one where you're asked to find the maximum and maybe where the object hits the ground.